Leviticus chapter 8 and chapter 9 are a two-chapter list of preparation. And there's a phrase that continues to appear throughout chapter 8. Moses did just as the Lord had commanded him. Now this statement or sentiment is repeated 10 times in chapter 8. They made offerings, sacrifices, they washed, anointed with oil, and changed clothes. Then here in chapter 9, we see at least 12 more different steps or actions taken throughout these verses. And when all the preparations were made, the result is verses 22 through 24. After that, Aaron raised his hands towards the people and blessed them. Then after presenting the sin offering, the burnt offering, and the peace offering, he stepped down from the altar. Then Moses and Aaron went into the tabernacle. And when they came back out, they blessed the people again. And the glory of the Lord appeared to the whole community. Fire blazed forth from the Lord's presence and consumed the burnt offering and the fat on the altar. When the people saw this, they shouted with joy and fell face down on the ground. God had set Aaron and his sons apart, anointing them for service. He then confirmed that setting apart through supernatural events. God himself set fire to the offering and his glory appeared before the people. The response of the people was one of joy, reverence, and worship. Here in these verses today, we see the installation of priests, a high calling. But check out what Aaron does in verse 8. He went to the altar and slaughtered the calf as a sin offering for himself. Priest, yes. But he was also a man born in sin and who also died in sin. And each of those who followed after him inherited sin from him as well. And even more, the man who installed them, Moses, was a fallible, sin-filled man. And despite his high and exalted status within the nation, he wasn't exempt from death because he was imperfect. And the same is true for you and I today. The question that we can ask is, how can perfection come out of imperfection? Now there's an answer to this question, but it's not found in the law of Moses or in the priesthood which administered that law. Nothing perfect ever resulted from it. Instead, it simply highlighted the imperfection of those under it. But check it out. Perfection can come out of imperfection if there's someone perfect to initiate the process. And this is what God did through His Son, Jesus Christ. God, being perfect in all His ways, sent His perfect Son, Jesus, to accomplish the task. Every detail that we see in today's verses, and even in all of what we've seen so far in Leviticus, point us to Him. God is directing us to think on the purpose of the law, the giving of His Son, and the difference between the two. Listen, let's not fall short by trusting in a law which can never perfect and thus never save. Instead, let's pour our hope in Jesus Christ alone, who is the way the truth, and the life. Today, may our response to Him be one of joy, reverence, and worship.